What's going on, explorers? Brandon Abandon, your man 6'4, exploring with Urbex Stickland. I got a very cool spot for you guys today. Now, I'm not sure if this is a resort or just some sort of maybe like a medical building or. I don't have a clue. I tried to do some research before I came and I couldn't figure much out. While I'm here, I'm going to see if I can figure a few things out. I'm trying to do this all in one because the power's on here. It's in a busy area. It's a little bit sketchy, so it might be a little bit quick. I'm going to do the best I can to show you guys everything. There's not much left inside as for chairs and couches and all that stuff, but just the building itself is really cool. As you can see here, it's just this awesome, very, very cool, almost resort looking building. So we're gonna figure out what this place is together. Let's jump right in there and let's get exploring. Right here, this is pretty much the back entrance. The back entrance of this, what could be resort. Look how completely grown over it is. Like there was a pathway there, it's gone. The lovely area over there. Like there's this real cool jungle gym. It's completely grown over. See, there was a pathway there too, but it's gone now. Real cool, huge wooden jungle gym. But just like, look at the whole pathway. Everything about this place is overgrown. And the ceiling, or the eaves troughs are falling down. But it's still, it's a very beautiful, very beautiful little area. Over here we got some sheds and a water board. But as you can see again, it's just completely overgrown. There's no way any kids are going to be playing on that park, not for a while. seem to be the way in that I found again I'm not sure how long this place has been abandoned it still has power but the cobwebs all through it everywhere that I step I'm clearing cobwebs with my head Anyway, we got a little shower area there. Maybe there's like a, a dog spa. Like the nice wood on the ceilings. And see what I mean? The power is still on. But this place is pretty cleaned out. So there's not going to be any point to really opening up any drawers or anything like that. And all the beautiful cubbies. See, like, is this a little waiting area? Yeah, we got one painting there. Nice detail. Egyptian painting. The fridge and the stove, they are unplugged. Like very nice, very nice little woodworking up here. Battery operated clock has stopped. Little laundry room. A 
leads to a little exit oh, to a basement. I didn't know there was a basement. We will have to check that out. More cubbies. Another storage closet. This is the opposite end. Look how gross that's starting to get down there. As you can tell, nobody's been here for a while. Even up there, they're starting to get mouse poo. But there is still water. So I could see this building getting fixed up, cleaned up, and opened back up. Or since where it is, it's probably gotten bought for the land and it's probably just going to get demolished. It's probably definitely going to be strip plaza where this building is. It's in the most perfect area for it. You can kind of see everything else has grown around it. And now all there is is a whole bunch of businesses and then this place sitting right in the middle. So I'm not sure, but I'm thinking it's probably going to be demolished to make, to make more shopping areas. That's a very cool little bathroom and cleaning area. I like the seashells. Reminds me of a demolition man. I didn't notice the tiles there, but those are nice. Okay, so that's this little wing of the building. That's where we came in. We got men's and women's bathroom. So that will help us. Again, of course, it's some sort of a business or a resort. Oh, real nice light and mirror. Go Jays, go. There's the outside. See, and this place is being used by, by landscapers. I thought it was just the outside that they were using, but it looks like they're using the inside too. Empty fridges. Ooh, it smells pretty bad though. That's a neat little kitchen. Here's more of your front foyer area. It's nice and high, nicely open. Some more dirt and vines have been growing inside for a while. Just a bathroom back there. Just a little storage, but it's real nice wood. Beautiful wood here. Making these tables. A little storage room. We'll look through here. Another little kitchen area. Displays built right into the wall. Mm. 
I just got a nice little hangout area. Almost like a little dance hall. And this is the other wing. Showers, we'll see that cobweb there. Look at the size of that. I like the little elephants on the wall. Those are pretty cool. A little play area. Very, very cool. Emergency number for hospitals and everything that are close. Oh, and a piano. Very cool. And a little kitchen. An area that somebody must have kicked the door in because that piece is hanging down. Another little cubby. This place like pretty much mirrors itself. Half of it looks the exact same as the other half. Nice, at least we got a first aid kit. Little tiny bathroom again. Look, and the toilets are so small. They're only like a foot off the ground. So this must have been maybe even like a daycare. Just a real fancy daycare. Nice basketball net outside. But the court's grown right over, unfortunately. See what's going on upstairs quickly. All right. So if you guys hold on one second, I'm going to take a picture. Something that's going to help me be able to find out just exactly what this place is and what's going on with it. That's a cool picture there. I like how the table's still set up. More cubbies and shelves. I'm starting to think this is just a daycare. Just a really fancy daycare. Like a daycare little medical house. I really like that. seen that before. Alright. Let's do this together. Let's find out where that basement was again.
It was close to here. I remember. Not in that room. Was it back in here? not. This is a confusing building. Work with me for a second. It wasn't in there. It wasn't from the kitchen. Was it all the way down there? No. And thankfully it's not. Well, at least while I'm walking through, you guys get to see the whole place one more time. You guys are probably screaming to yourselves right now, go this way, go this way, the stairs are that way. How do you not remember? I gotta find it and then we'll all meet up. So we found it. It was coming off of the Industrial basement. Very cool. Storage crawl space. Little furnace room. So the basement's just a big empty place. No need to go snooping around. All right, so we made it back outside for a minute. We'll do this real quick. There's that. Overcombe Park again, one of the three. We got all these going on here. Just a little storage area inside all of them. A little hangout spot. There's another angle of the, the Overgrown Park. 
forgive me for the sun. We're doing this explore after work. <laughs> but over here, I stashed my backpack while I went inside just to make life easier. So let's grab it again. I feel safer with it. Oh. I'm not going to show too much of the front of this building. I don't want it to be a dead giveaway. But we can at least still do a little bit of a walk. See a little bit more of the back. I said it's a beautiful little area. It's like a little oasis hidden by four corners of businesses and plazas. tire swing on the inside it's a very cool jungle gym see the tires there going up to the other floor it just sucks that it's in this condition if I lived close I'd bring a weed whacker clean this up and me and my nephew would be partying here all the time He's just seven, so he'd have the time of his life. Show you a little more of the property here. That was that beautiful glass opening. Very nice. Almost had like a little stream. That's the first private property, no trespassing sign I've seen. And is that for that side? <laughs> like, is that not even for the resort or whatever this building is? It looks like the private property, no trespassing is for that light and this little pond here. Right there is another, another couple kid parks. Look at that. Beautiful swamp, <laughs> but it probably wasn't swampy like that before. It's just been like that because nobody's been in it, nobody's been swimming, nobody's been taking care of it. Yeah, see, another, another sad sight. Look at all these parks. There's three of them here, so that makes six all together. That's crazy. Up this trail a little bit more. See, that's what I'm saying. That's where the landscapers have been hanging out and using the property. They've planted some trees and making it look nice. Yeah, look at that. What a mess. This place is crazy overgrown. Nuts. A little bit more of the building. And here's our walkway to get to it. A very cool area very cool find i hope you guys are enjoying this as much as i am i know again it was kind of quick but where it is with the power on and everything i just wanted to be a little bit safer in and out no getting caught no getting in trouble all right everybody what do you guys think about that eh very cool spot again i hope the video wasn't too fast the way that i went through it we could always watch the video a second time but I just wanted to get in and out safe. 
with the power, with the time of day, with just everything that's going on, safer to not get in trouble. That way I can keep bringing you guys more films and more films and I stay off the radar. So thank you all for the love and the support. Like it, subscribe it, share it. Thank you for the comments, for the love, for the views. Again, for all your support. Brandon Abandon, and I'll catch you on the next Explore. Ciao. Go, go.